splendid weather we are having. Mrs. Featherington. There's no romance, what's the point? <laughs> Just kidding, maybe. Darling. What a striking gown you have on. You, you as well, my lord. Uh, <laughs> not, not the gown part, obviously the first part. Where's it from? Uh, trader in Marseille. My perfume is from Paris. Where are my handsome new playing cards from? Is this writing Spanish? You visited France and Spain. No, my sheet music is Italian. Lunette soleil, je veux m'en venger. Merci beaucoup, je hurle. I love a bit of gossip. Perhaps I should not be so eager, but on days whistle down is delivered, I sit by the door and read it as soon as it arrives. Do you? Anyone who tells you otherwise is lying to you, so shut up! I mind asking whoever is playing downstairs to quieten down so I might hear? I can try, but is that not in fact? Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. Can wait. I cannot wait to know what Lady Whistledown will write about this. Oh, Lord have mercy. Mm-mm-mm. Today drained me. I have never been kissed and I am not certain I ever will be. I could die tomorrow. You are not going to die tomorrow. But I could and it would kill me. You would already be dead. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore them. I cannot. <laughs> Rihanna, what are you doing here? <laughs> if a husband is what you seek, then let me help you. Help me how? <laughs> and for me, it was joyous, celebratory, sisterly, hot. Do not become greedy in your success. What more could you want? Oh, do not tell me you're holding out for love. Girl, 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 girl! Oh, girl this girl stop. is delusional! I'm glad your mama let you keep your dresses. The looking glass does not lie. The truth is... And I think I know why. Because we were children. Stupid! You're not I'm smart! Not stupid. You're not smart! Oh. No, not in here, outside, where our mother can't sit. <laughs> what do you say? You want me to shake your hand? It is. Any idea who she might be? I do not. But trust me, if I ever find out, I will make sure it is her life that is ruined. I'm here to call upon one of your daughters, if I may. <laughs> it smells like a public restroom! You know what? No. Well... <laughs> Off to quite a dull start. I'm sure she'll- Party City is closing. So we're going in here to see if my wife can find something on a discount. So I have embarrassed myself and my family, and if we were to continue, I would embarrass yours as well. Yes, that is very sensible. In fact, it may be best if we keep our distance for now. Oh, of course. But you did this for what? Why not? <laughs> Why? Why not? <laughs> Why, though? Electric chair. Inserts himself. Inserts himself? Inserts himself where? What on earth do you and Mr. Finch do? We kiss, and then he makes an odd sound, and then he goes to change his britches. His... <laughs> you know what? This is... It's a match. How dare I ask Mike, this fictional gentleman, ask for the young lady's hand, especially if she had no male relative. If, if, if you were writing the book, that is. Good day. Day. Insufficient funds, you ain't got no money. Woo. Lord Summer, darling, welcome. 
Our cook has prepared some meal for you in anticipation of your arrival. Oh, listen, this is not Lord Sundani. I don't apologize because I never make, you know, mistakes. <laughs> Do you know what is romantic security? She's got a point. It wasn't. Would you like to come in? I have a few new books that maybe. No. Thank you. I'm meeting a friend. My stories from abroad are not suitable for such tender young ladies. <laughs> Were I to tell you even the tiniest adventure, well, I would be forced to marry you. Brother, uh, what's that? A lecture chair. Were you reading that? No, I, I, I did not mean to. You did not mean to pick up my journal and read it? Darling, you.